Hello, friends. I'm Whitwick, the finest storyteller in all of Carrion. You're in for a real treat today. Let us begin the adventure of our hero, Larry, and his encounter with the most unlikely of foes, the gnomes of the Wackapork Forest. Oh, the land of Carrion abounds with magnificent beauty and in ages past has been a place of safety and peace. In recent times, however, forces of evil have begun to stir within the kingdom. People and places that were once quiet and at ease have been changing. Take, for example, the gnomes of the Wagapork Forest. The once quiet and friendly creatures, in a short space of time, became violent, obnoxious, and very, very naughty. And so the tale begins with the chosen one, Larry Mittenhands, and a summon <laughs> from the king. Now, Larry, you'd better hurry up to carry on castle. You don't want to keep the king waiting. Are you sure I'm ready for all this? Of course not. You're a Nancy boy. But with my instruction, you might at least live to see tomorrow. Walk down the road and break open that supply crate. These are gems of doom. They are extremely valuable, so grab them wherever you can. This barricade is quite tall. Try sprinting into a jump to get over it. You can swap your weapons with the ones on the ground. The gnome head is distracted. Throw your weapon at him. Waiting, Larry, hurry on forward. Uh, y your Majesty, you summoned me? Yes, chosen one. The city may soon be in trouble. You really think so? Yes, I do. Not many people know this, but I've heard report that gnomes might be acting naughty in my city. Don't tell anyone, though. I don't want to cause a panic. Ah, I'll keep that in mind. I find it strange. I've always been on good terms with the Gnome King. Your mission is to find the Gnome King and find out what is going on. All right. Bring the Gnome King! <laughs>
of my way, child. I'm looking for the chosen one. I'm not a child. I'm 19. And I'm the chosen one. Very funny. Now get lost. No. I'm looking for your king. Now tell me, where... Wait, you're serious? You're the chosen one? You're the one we've been sent here to kill? <laughs> sent here to kill? <laughs> yes. Uh, our king has commanded us to find and kill the chosen one. Uh, mind you... Had he seen you himself, he'd have sent a lot less of us here. <laughs> hey, shut up! Let's get this over with so I can be home in time for supper. Let's get this party started. <laughs> you will die! <laughs> Oh, my God.
Head home, child. This place is not for you. I'm here to find the Noom King. You are this chosen one. The Man of the Flames did not speak of you as such a little boy. The Man of the Flames? Yes, the man who speaks to our king through the magical fire. Your king takes orders? Only the magical fire man, for he is mighty as the gods. Look, I don't have time for this. I need to speak to your king. My king? You have no hope, little boy. You would never leave the fall into the underground. You would not last a second in our great gnome city, and our king would crush you as powder. You will never be able to try any of these things, because you will never get past me. I'm ready! Are you enjoying it?
pissed me off. Mm. Sure makes me feel better, though. I wonder where all the noise up ahead is coming from. I can smell these gnomes a mile away. Dangerous. Lucky there's this pile of dead fat guys to break my fall.
Extra. You fail me for the last time, pathetic king of the gnomes. The chosen one has beaten your first line of attack, and now your people are the ones running and hiding. If you insist on failing me, you will be dealt with accordingly. My lord, I will fix everything, I swear it. Well, now is your chance. The Chosen One is outside this very room. Oh, brother. of the great gnome king, the throne room began to crumble and quake. So Larry ran into the place that he heard the mysterious voice, the fireplace. He flew through the flames and up the hidden spiral staircase into the darkness above. Until eventually, somehow, the chosen one would end up once again in Carrion, having risen from the world of the gnomes beneath triumphant over the gnome's destruction and the evil force that motivated their devious attacks. Whoever that mysterious voice in the flames belonged to was defeated and would no doubt be really, really pissed off. The end. Well, that's it for me. And speaking of being pissed off, I really gotta urinate. Bye. Roll credits. <laughs>